Welcome back everybody. It's time for another booster cracking and today we're back to Force of Will. We're back to New Dawn Rises. Our hunt continues as per usual. It's been a few months and I was pretty dissuaded with the last box. It was a good box, but you know, uh, we have not found the Anubis Secret Rare and we are going on like opening up what? I don't know, 10 of these boxes or some crazy nonsense. I don't even know anymore. Uh, today, I've got three of them sitting over here. Will I open all three? I uh, certainly am crossing my fingers that that won't happen, but I'm pretty much fully committed at this point to finding that secret. And I'm just hoping that it's in one of these three boxes. This one's an open box. It just has a couple packs missing out of it, I believe, but chances are still high in this one. I haven't pulled it yet out of the couple I've opened. And then I've got two fully sealed New Dawn Rises boxes, ready to go and ready to find that Anubis. Because why not? You know, you got to fully commit sometimes. You got to put it out there into the universe that this is something you desire and it'll turn up. It'll show up for you. At least that's what I'm hoping. I've only put it out there at least eight, nine other times with the boxes I've been opening, but we'll see what happens. But if you've been with me since the beginning of this little series, I applaud you and thank you for the support in the journey. Let's leave a like on this video and cross our fingers for some wins in these boxes and the ultimate win, that Anubis. I'm talking a lot of hype, talking a lot of game. That's because, man, I am just ready to find this thing. It's been so long and I've gotten all the other secrets. All of them from all the Valhalla sets. I've found them all, I've purchased them, I've opened them, I've opened a few on camera, some off camera, and then I've gotten a couple that just were decent prices on TCG Player. But the one that I will not falter on, that I must pull naturally, is the one in New Dawn Rises, the Anubis, and uh, we've been trying real, real hard. There's nothing left to say, really. You guys know I love this set. It's an amazing set with awesome cards and just tons of fun to be found and had in this. So we're gonna speed run this nonsense like it's nobody's business and power through these packs at a breakneck speed just to get through them. And hopefully, like I said, we don't crack through all of them. I'm really hoping maybe, you know, it just pops up on third row down, second, second stack, second pack, whatever of the first box. We'll see, we'll see. But let's see what we can get into here and let's find it. Before we break into it though, make sure to subscribe and support the channel. If you enjoy any TCG openings, Force of Will, We Cross, we do other things on this channel now too, like Toy Reviews, Glios, Pokemon, Gundam now. We're doing it all and Force of Will is just the bread and butter that I always like coming back to with TCGs because it's so much fun. So subscribe, leave a like, share the video, let's get started. All right, we got the camera set up and we are gonna start with the already opened up box. So let's pull out some packs right here on the cam and let's get into it. Bada bing, bada boom, no promo in this one because again, I've already opened it. This is just something I got as like a big lot of packs basically. So I don't actually know how like structured or anything this box will be. Uh, it could just be a mishmash of several boxes stacked together, who knows? Maybe that increases our chances. Maybe that decreases our chances. We'll have to wait and see. But there is a mountain of packs, so let's slide them on over and get to getting. Let's get the first pack going. Bang, we got a nice Minerva on top and we are just gonna do the skip. I'm just going through. If you guys wanna see the rest of the set, I've done other videos. This is just for the major cards at the back here. So skipping all the rest and going straight to the good stuff. Again, fingers crossed that we don't have to uh, annihilate three boxes today. That would be fantastic. Country of the Sun Minerva, but you never know. All right, we got a couple full art uncommon so far. Let's see what's here. We got Lamira and we got my least favorite card of the set. We got Child of the Hero. All right, what are we? Fourth pack in already. It's not too bad, not too bad. Magic Stone, uh, Magic Stone of the Undead, and we got Venomous Scorpion. Another one, let's see. Let's just go kabang, kabang. Wow, that wasn't a great skip at all, Spear. And we got the one who gazes at the soul common. Guys, this is gonna be a journey, let me tell you. I'm just, I'm crossing my fingers, man. These boxes have gone up in price. They're harder to find. So this has been in my reservoir in my stacks for a long time. We got Jubal, the one-eyed swords master, a nice full art, but not worth anything. And I'm just hoping to close out the series here because uh, man, oh man, I want this thing. And we just found out something really cool about the next set, Oberazuki, very nice, super rare. And we got Messenger of Death. We found out in the brand new cluster of Force of Will, this set is gonna have secret rares again. It looks awesome. It's like a little comic book version of the J-Rulers. 
I can't wait to search for secret rares on some new sets. It's awesome. I haven't been a part of like secret rares and new sets because I came into Force of Will after Valhalla already had ended. So it's gonna be really exciting to actually look for some dope looking secret rares in the new sets. And I'm very, very excited. They look sweet. It is using some of the same artwork, but it's cool. It's a little bit of a switch up at least, and it's a secret rare. So I wanna close out this series right and keep cracking into these packs. So we don't have to worry about searching for other secret rares while we're searching for new secret rares. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, bang. We are going to go ba ba boom, ba ba boom. Oh, straight to that one. All right, that's fine. We got Lancelot and Thick Fog. And here we go. All right, this pack was a little bit weird, but we got a look of corruption. We're going to start keeping tallies of how many look of corruptions we get because it is a really good card in this set outside of the secret rares. We got ninja, nothing. So we'll keep our tally of look of corruptions over here and we'll we'll see how many we can snag today depending on how many boxes we actually go through. So let's see, we got our angel and we got, oh, we got back-to-back -back angels, super rare, uh, not super rare, it's just a common, but nice full art angel, I like this card. Just search, let's go, come on, show it to me. Oh, am I shaking already? Oh, oh, very nice gold. I love this card. It's nothing too crazy, honestly. I got a little overexcited, but it's some beautiful artwork and I, I miss this set, it's been a while. So we got Skull, the Valkyrie of the future. Again, not worth anything, but it's a cool card. I am really not gonna do prices on these videos. If you haven't noticed already, I'm not gonna be pricing everything out. I'm just gonna show you guys like the really expensive ones. I'll let you guys know where look at corruptions at and stuff, but for the most part, I'm not gonna do anything. We already got a double Jubal uh, or whatever his name is. What is it? Yeah, it's Jubal or whatever the hell, I don't know. But we already got double of that full art. So we are just gonna keep on moving and see what else is in here. Now that double for that rare as a full art might mean that this box is kind of, ooh, that's a good card. That's actually a good hit. Life Severing Blade full art has some value. That's nice. This double, that might mean, because I you don't normally see double full arts like that too often in boxes, which means this could be a combination of packs between several boxes, which again, could help our luck, could uh, diminish our luck. I don't know. It just all depends on what was taken out. But we got Lancelot, Full Art, Glass Knight. All right, these are some good hits right now. That's good. I'm liking it. All right, we got we got a couple good hits back to back here. That's kind of what we want to be seeing, sort of. I mean, we just want to be seeing the really good stuff. And by that, I mean the secrets. Now, we could end up pulling a secret today, and it possibly could not be Anubis. Unfortunately, it will be a duplicate because I've already gotten, ooh, life severing again. I've already gotten all the other secrets, which is crazy. I should show those off. After we finish out this box, if I don't find any uh, secret rares here, I'll show off the rest of my nice secret collection. I don't think this is it, let's see. No, it's not. The secret rare collection I have is super nice, I'm very proud of it, and I just like, you know, almost completed it just like last week outside of the Anubis, so it's a nice one. Osiris, he's a cool card, not worth anything. Bang, here we go. Should we just go like this? Oh, oh, we got Karua and we got Reign of Tears. Ooh, if I, ended up, if I end up opening like 90 packs, this is gonna be hell to edit through. It's gonna be crazy Siegfried. And we got our little sliver guy, non-sliver guy. And here we go. All right, we got Iron, Apostle, and we've got Magic Stone and a Castle in the Sky. Nothing. That's all right. Let's keep going. We're just going to go like this on this one. And we got Shen Gungbao, Taos of Kunlun. I can never say his name. Huh, yeah. All right, Minerva. It's a good card to get in a nice full art, honestly. All right, let's. All right, we kind of flipped through. Oh, it's just an Oni. It's just an Oni. Onis aren't anything over here. They're just super basic and kind of annoying to get, like Child of Hero or whatever. Uh, we've got Reign of Tears again. See, these doubles, these doubles up. Full art doubles up means these boxes could very well be combined, and I'm kind of vibing with that idea. Uh, we got Ayu, the Mysterious Wanderer. Oh, Crow of the Tengu, full art. Love this card, love this artwork. Uh, just the normal version. There is a secret rare of her, but this is not it. Still a nice card, not super expensive, but I love it, I love it. It looks so great. And we are flying. We are flying through this thing. Let's see what we got at the back. We got whatever, Mister of Grief, huh? Man, I don't think I've pulled that one before. All right. We got Scorching on the top. We got Baal, and we got Apostle of the Devil, common. Next up, let's see it. We got our Mushi Kitten, Kite, Corpse Demon, and we've got Burial Rites. All right, not bad. Sometimes this one does have some value, but nothing too crazy. On to the next, let's see it. 
let's pop on to uh, semi the back. We got the Nitron Blade and we got Magic Stone of Chaos as a rare. Nice, nice. All right, we are almost done with this weird Mod Podge box. We got our little Kite Cat. Ha! No other look of corruptions yet. Now I might've passed over one possibly because I don't think I spotted the rares on all these, but just a Mimi Tribe here, nothing special. I'll have to double check through and see if I missed a look of corruption. I guess I shouldn't completely skip over that rare slot. I gotta make sure I look at it before we go on to Ormanu, the Eater of Worlds, or whatever his name is, Ormonger, Ormonger, super rare. If you're new to the channel, I apologize in advance. I'm terrible with pronouncing things sometimes, but you're just gonna have to deal with it. It's all I can do sometimes. We got Balmong, rare, full art. Let's keep it coming. And I see, I don't think this is what we want. Rare, and then no, it's Atlantis, dude, wielder of knowledge, not a good one. Is a rare though. Yep, we only got a few more here. Let's go through it and see what we can find. We got Merlin and we got Forest of the Lost Misty Woods Uncommon. All right, let's see it. Let's see it before we get into the next box. Oh, there's our girl Anubis. We need you in the secret rare. And we got the one who gazes at the soul again. Two more for the hodgepodge box. And then we'll move on to some, you know, more structured boxes. Ophelia, super rare right there, but bang. Fresh Blood Vampire Common. Last one. Let's see if we can save ourselves from opening two new Dawn Rises boxes. If not, then rip us. But we are gonna have to because we got a single stroke kitty and a single stroke common. I forgot to give you guys a closer look of all the secret rares I have. So here they are. Some really nice ones up here. Really love that Athena one. Super cool. All the ones from the next series. I think this was actually the first secret rare I pulled on camera. It is so cool. It's like $140 now or something crazy like that. And then we got the new Dawn Rises stuff and we have the missing spot right here. All right, one box down. Let's get out a new one. All right, there we go, new box. And let's get on camera, open it up. We are not gonna do the promo. It's in here, it's Skull, the Valkyrie girl. We've already seen it a million times. We're just gonna go straight to the packs. All right, first one of a new box and a new chance for our secret rare. Obrazuki, super rare, very nice. And we got Bird of Fire common. Hit, hook, ha. All right, let's see this one. I'm gonna guess it's Jubal. And then we got Hamlin. Ah, Hamlin, you're a crappy one. We're gonna have stacks upon stacks of new Dawn Rises out here. It's gonna be crazy. Ask Growth <laughs> Burial Rites again. All right, not bad. Bada bing, bada boom. Is there God Packs in Valhalla? I feel like I ask this every time, but I don't remember ever. We got Ayu, and we got Azazel, Fallen Angel, Gloom. Good one to get. Sometimes has a decent price. That's not bad. Let's see here. We got to like burst through the boxes in under 10 minutes. Ooh, that's a nice one. Obrazuki in the full art super rare. That's got some solid uh, prices on it right now too. Yeah, there will be a couple, like I said, that I will give some prices on just so you guys know where the big cards are of the set. This is one of them. This one's great. I don't think that's where we want to be spending our super rare full arts though in this set. Uh, I don't know how the allotment goes, but we just got magic stone here. Uncommon. Here we go. Got some more packs. We're ready to fly through. What do we got? We got the Nitron Blade and Massive Growth. Rare, but not a good one. Huh. All right, we gotta do a better job skipping through and see I'm stalling on the skip through. It's not good. We got Taoist and we got one who gazes at the soul again. Oh, I cannot wait to pull this freaking Anubis, man. I am gonna be overjoyed. All right, we got Merlin straight to the rare. Let's see what's, oh! Hey, all right, all right. This, this actually sucks, but it's great, but it sucks because this is a secret rare. Oh, but it is not the one we need. It's Kairagura, the Crow Tengu. Oh, she's an awesome card. Look at how nice that secret rare is. Oh man, I'm pretty sure we can only be allotted one of these per box. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So that might be it for this box. That might genuinely just, that might be our box for our secret rares. Our chances may be gone. So I might even just put these back, keep these packs sealed and open the other one and just see if we can find it in that one. But this is awesome. Unfortunately, not the elusive Anubis, but a awesome secret. Oh, what a bummer, but oh, that is a good one. That is really good. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna keep going or? I, I, I don't think you can ever get 
two secrets in a box. I guess if we're really desperate, we will go back to that box and keep opening and just see, but uh, I'm gonna open up the other box and just go for it on this one and see if we can find a secret in this one because I think our chances are kaput on the other one. All right, let's rip into you. See what we can find in this one, I suppose. Get this open, get the promo out. You guys know how it is. And we will dig into these boxes or packs, I should say. Let's go, new box, new chance for a secret. You know, it, it's probably for the best that we got that secret so early. That way I don't have to go through a crazy amount. We got Bayel in a full art, nice card, not worth anything. One secret rare in two boxes. And, uh, these didn't get purchased from the same people, so our chances still could be the same for finding one here. Burial rights. Let's see the next. All right, I think I saw that one at the end. Yeah, just a corpse demon with the Anubis taunting us. How will I ever find this Anubis? Oh man, I've considered purchasing it, but here's the problem. Everybody, ooh, Azazel, Fallen Angel of Gloom. Nice, 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 good double hit. Everybody who's selling Anubis right now is out of their freaking mind, and it's not their fault, I blame. One company, for jacking up the price beyond belief and everybody's following suit. Uh, I won't name them yet. If I pull the card, I'll, I'll name some names of who's been jacking the prices up on the Anubis card, but it is at ridiculous high prices. It should not be valued that highly, uh, but it is because no one had the card available to sell. So one person came in and said, I'll name the price. And everybody said, oh, I guess that's what it's worth now. It's not. It's not. Uh, ignore my frustrations with that for now. Like I said, if we pull the Anubis, I'll go into the pricing of it. Oh, but... <laughs> All right, this is this is Anubis, but it's not, not the secret. Not the secret. And unfortunately, not valued highly. Cool card, though. I wish it was valued more highly. It is a nice one, but people just want the secret of her. That's it. So we're going to keep going, and we're going to keep searching. Oh, come on. Look at Corruption. Our second one so far that we know of. I'm going to have to look back. Squall of the Tengu. Rare. Not bad. Not worth much. All right. Let's see. We got our creepy It Clown Guardian. We got Atlantis. And we got Giant of the Mist. Let's see what else is hiding in this box. No secret yet. You're not guaranteed secrets in every box. We've got Magic Stone of Faith and Miasma of the Abyss. Here's how it works with the secrets in the Valhalla sets. I believe it's one per case, which is one per every six boxes in a case, which is pretty hard to find and all that. And considering how crazy Anubis is, it's just nuts. Lemira Magic Boomerang, super rare, not worth it. I will say all the other secret rares are going up in price right now too, which is crazy. I got mine at some decently medium to low prices and they're all skyrocketing right now. It's nuts. We got Bottomless Chasm of Death, Uncommon. Come on. I just want the Anubis. Please, 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 the Anubis. And we got, we got Merlin. Full art, nothing. What else we got? Oh, that one's showing off the last card. It does that sometimes, but let's just go through. And no, Song of Fairies. The stack of cards abound. Let's see what's in this one. We've got Magic Stone of Dueling. Decent, I think, sometimes. All right. Don't hold me in suspense too long. If I can save some of these packs, I will. Azazel, Angel of Gloom, and the Village, nothing. We're pulling from the right side a little bit, just a few packs, and then we'll dip into the left side some more. We got Disgrace Knight, rare, and we've got Disgrace Knight, full art rare. Bang, let's see. I don't think that last card keeps glancing up at me, and it seemed blue. It was Deceased Rats, ugh. Not fun, not fun. Oh man. Hey, if there's anybody out there, if it turns out we don't find the secret in this box, uh, let me know if you're willing to sell me some boxes of New Dawn Rises. I'd love to have a fair price on them so I can pop them open and see what we can find. Let's go though. We're going to keep crossing our fingers. We're only oh, halfway, halfway through this box. Crazy enough. Explore the unknown. Nothing. Lucky left side. Lucky left side has always treated me well until there's times when it doesn't treat me well and I just make up the rules as I go. Carrier Dragon. Next up, oh, see that one? Oh, I think it was Disgrace Knight. Uh, Skeleton Knight, all right, Skeleton Knight with Siegfried. Next, let's see, ah, oh, see that last card. I want the reveal. I want the reveal, it's just a scout. Let's make sure all the cards are down in the pack before I open up this one so we don't spot that last card right away. We will spot it eventually. We will get to you. But wait your turn. Life-severing blade. Nice with Hamlin. Not nice. 
All right, well, if this thing's hiding, it's hiding down at the bottom of the box. Let's see it. We've got Magic Stone Hermit. Nah, what we got left? What we got left in this one? All right, that's what's left in this box, so let's do it. A good stack, a good row, I should say, of uh, packs to go through. So, Mad Hatter Ophelia, nice. And Wooden Ox, not nice. Haven't gotten a Look of Corruption full art yet, which is actually kind of surprising. It's probably hiding in that other box we already opened. We got Nitron Blade and Nitron Blade. Look at these double boys here, that's crazy. All right, let's see what's in this one. We got Skeletonite on top, we got Chasm, Squall, and Spear of the Valkyries. Hey, for an uncommon, you couldn't ask for better than this. This is actually one that has some value for an uncommon full art. So this is a pretty good one to find. We're not done. We're not done. We're committing fully. And we're just gonna open up the next box. Ooh, another one. All right. You couldn't ask for more from a common full art. This is one of the better common full arts to find in the set. It's a very nice full art. And uh, again, like the Valkyrie one, it's got some value. Commander Minerva, very cool. Finding some good common and uncommons. Can we find a good secret? So let's go. We got Obrazuki Super, Child of the Frickin' Hero, always rubbing it in my face just when I think I'm having a good time. Here comes Child of the Hero going, screw you, man, screw you. You think you got some good stuff? You don't. You got Child of the Hero. All right, Bale and Snake. Eventually, I'm going to make a bonfire full of all my child of heroes and burn them all in a pyre all right let's go thundering and invitation this one can have some value a couple bucks i think sometimes we'll see and i don't th i think it's went down actually all right next Ooh, this one felt a little tighter on that pack maybe it's trying to hide a super awesome not a secret rare but angel of knowledge uncommon what's the next one let's see it we got the abyss on top and we got fogs with Magic Stone of the Undead, Thick Fog, nothing. Four more packs to this box, and I feel like we haven't found anything too crazy. Jormangu, Eater of Worlds, and Skyround Tactician. All right, or Technician, whatever. We're not here to read. We're here to look at the pretty picture of the Secret Rare Anubis, which we have yet to gaze upon with our own two eyes. All right, there's our, what is it, Rare, Magic Stone of the Undead, Ophelia, Angel of Guidance, decent, decent, decent. Not the one we want. Okay, two packs. Let's see it. One, two, and ba-boom, carrier camel. Wow, not good. All right, let's see it. This is the last pack of that box. And I guess if we don't pull it here, right here, right now, then we'll, we'll have some fun and we'll finish up that other box. Why not? Let's see it. Yeah, all right, Mirage, Sandora, not here. Bummer. Ah, get out of here. Back to this other box that we found our secret rare in. And again, who knows if it's even possible. I do not believe it's possible unless this is some crazy God box, but we're gonna, we're gonna freaking go for it anyways, have some fun. Maybe we can at least pull a couple full art look of corruptions, which is underneath the secret rare, one of the more expensive cards in the set. So let's just have some fun. Let's see, leave a like on the video, the glass night for my pain and suffering, that would be appreciated. Need to find a new place to stack cards. Let's just take a peek at the end cards here, I guess. Oh, double up on the little stone. Come on, let's see it. Back to the back. Life severing blade, not bad, but no good full art. We're rushing through. We're just going like that. There you go, there you go. Tengu, nothing good. Here we go. Next one, what do we got? Uh, Fresh blood, vampire, Baal, nothing. Huh, huh, yeah. What's this behind there? Ooh, we got Mad Hatter. I don't think I have you in a full art. You're pretty sweet. Nothing good though. Bang. I see blue, so it's not Anubis. It's just a mist and no look of corruption. But we shall continue on. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got another Spear of the Valkyrie. Very good, very good. I'll take her. Bang. Let's see it. We've got the Witch. She's a cool card. Not worth anything though. And another one. Let's go. Just going to the back. We got our kite and we got Ophelia. Not Ophelia. Azazel. Angel of Gloom. More packs. Let's go. Let's see it. Come on. What do we got back here, huh? We got a little Fennec and Hamlin. We're just gonna, we're just gonna ball through some of these, man. Let's go. We got our Sliver Guy. Burial Rites. We've got, oh, 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 I thought that was double foil. No, scrap, nothing, nothing, Magic Stone of Faith. You see this card mess? It's crazy, man. Absolute craziness. Child of the Hero, again, crazy, man. I don't want you. I'm going to burn them. I'm going to burn them. Let's keep going, though. What do we got behind this one? Uh, Lamera, not a good one. 
Again, these are just going to be quick little pop-offs since we already got the secret out of this box. Oh man, someone sell me more new Dawn Rises, please. Let's go. Let's see it. Come on, look at Corruption Full Art or something. Magic Stone. And we got, hey, another Life Severing Blade Full Art. Not bad, not bad. All right. You can never be disappointed with New Dawn as far as price and profit wise goes. You usually always get a good hit, which is nice. So yeah, there's Anubis taunting and a Carrier Dragon. There's always some good stuff to be found in New Dawn Rises. It's the best. It's the absolute best. Uh, we got Ophelia. There we go. Angel of Guidance. Nice. We're just doing it. I'm just full committed. We've only got a few more packs, but. It is what it is. Let's see what we got in Oni, which I hate the Onis. And we made really good time though, let me tell you. That was crazy fast. We got Baal, a cool card with Scald. And here we go. All right, Abyss with Atlantis, boy. He's nothing good. Here we are with a Minerva on top with a Look of Corruption. Hey, there we go. A third Look of Corruption with Whispers in the Devil. Third Look of Corruption. And usually when you find those Look of Corruptions, more follow. So we got Jermangu and Scorching Winds. I've never had a box that like didn't grant me like a decent Look of Corruption full art if I found other Look of Corruptions. We got a Corpse Demon though. And we, oh my gosh, are already on the last pack. I'm just chucking stuff. That's all there is to it. It's all that's left to do. We did find a secret. It is a good valued secret. We got lots of looks. And now we will open the final pack, which we kind of already know is not going to be a secret, but let's just go through this one slowly just to take a look down the memory lane of New Dawn Rises. We got, hey, oh, I got to look for these girls. I forgot that this was in the set. Vivian, like the mechanical fairy, uncommon. It can potentially have like a buck, buck 50 value, uh, one to hang on to maybe, but I'll have to go back and see if I can find her. Tranquility. And we got Jubal. Oh, Jubal, Jubal, Jubal. Man, we got like five of you today. That's crazy. Done. We are done with this episode. Really quick, let's just recap some of our nice pulls we got. Of course, we've got the Commander of Minerva. Very nice card for a common. And then we've got Spear of the Valkyries. Of course, we got two of those. That's decent. Glass Knight is always a fun one. Ardenite, the Nitron Blade, great one to get. Azazel is always a fire card. We got several of her. Ophelia also got a couple of her. Life Severing Blade, we kind of went off, which is awesome. Normal cards, non-foil full arts are not too crazy, but we did wind up with not one, but two of those bad boys. Oberzuki, again, kind of the same good card, better in the full art, but we did manage to pull not one. Uh, we did just pull one. I thought we pulled more than that. I guess we just pulled one of these. Not bad though. Good card. Look at Corruption. No full arts, but we did manage to pull a few of the normals, which again, the normals in this set are not terrible for price. I think they're like six to eight to 10, roughly, depending on where everything is with meta and whatnot. And then of course, our big hit of the day was not the Anubis secret rare, but we did get Kagura, the Crow Tengu. It's an awesome secret. It's one of the first ones I pulled, I believe. Uh, it's classic. It's classic, but I've gotten her. So while this may be a good find, my goodness, the search continues. Much as it pains me to say that. Wow. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe, support the channel. And yeah, reach out if you got some new Dawn Rises you want to sell for a decent price, because I am looking once again. But look for more videos of all sorts of unboxing coming up in the future here, and we will see you in the next one.